Okay, here's an example where it wants us to find an exact value of sine of alpha plus beta, and it gives us two different angles. So basically what's going on here is you're going to draw two different bow ties, one for each angle, and then we're going to use this trig identity to um, get an exact value of sine of alpha plus beta. And the cool thing about this is we don't even have to know what alpha and beta are to find the ratio that their sum would produce. So we really don't need to know what the angles are. So let's look at alpha first. Um, alpha is in quadrant four, so our bow tie is going to be down there, all right? And so, so Katoa, so here's alpha. So opposite is a negative three, and the hypotenuse is five. Okay, and then the other one is in what, quadrant three? All right, so we're gonna draw our bow tie over here, and this is what, beta, and we have so ka, so adjacent's negative one, and again, the hypotenuse is three. So that should remind you of exam one. All right, so at this point, we need to do Pythagorean theorem, which again, we use all the time in trig. Um, to figure out the missing side. So we have 9 plus b squared equals 45. b squared equals um, subtract 9, which is 16. So b equals technically plus or minus 4. And again, you can recognize that that's a 3, 4, 5 triangle if you remember that. And this is a positive 4 um, because it's going to the right. Okay, let's look over here. We have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Um, the hypotenuse is 9, this is 1, subtract, we get 8, square root, um, b equals plus or minus, and then this is really, um, well, I can just write this 4 and 2, so I get plus or minus 2 radical 2, and again, you have to look at your picture to decide this vector is going down, so that's a negative 2 radical 2. So I'm going to the right and down, and to the left and down, so then I know my signs. All right, so at this point, I know my bow ties, so I can use the trig identity, and again, I don't expect you to have these memorized, so just look at your little cheat sheet, and so you're like, okay, sine of alpha, cosine and beta, and when it's a plus um, for the sine one, it actually matches. And again, you could do this with cosine of alpha plus beta or tangent of alpha plus beta. The process would be the same. You just draw your bow tie, and then you use that trig identity and sub it in. Now again, input angle, input angle, input angle, input angle, and the output's ratio. The cool thing is I don't need to know what that angle is because I have the bow tie, and so I can get those ratios off the bow tie triangles even though I don't know what my angles are, which is very cool. All right, so cosine of alpha, all right, it would go there. Sine of alpha would go there. All right, now, what sometimes helpful, I think, is you know the answer to sine of alpha, so that's a negative three-fifths, and you know the answer to cosine of beta, that's a negative one-third. So you might as well not recreate the wheel here. Just grab those off of your given. All right, cosine of alpha, I didn't give you. So that's on this triangle. So, so ka total, I'm, I don't know where that came from. So ka toa, all right, so adjacent over hypotenuse is that guy. And then I look at this bow tie to get beta, all right, sine. So, so ka toa, so opposite, negative two radical two all over the hypotenuse, all right? So then I'm just going to multiply um, a negative times a negative, well, actually those cancels, but it's still gonna be positive, those are ones. So I get a positive um, one fifth, all right? And I might regret reducing that actually, so we'll come back to that. And then over here I get plus a negative eight radical two over 15. So I do kind of regret um, reducing that, so actually I am going to um, erase this and I am going to not reduce it this time. So that'd be what a negative and a negative is a positive 3 15 So that way I keep my common denominator. So I'm not going to cancel those guys. I am going to leave them. All right. So then I get a common denominator. So then I can write my answer all over 15. Okay. And so this again is an exact answer to whatever those two angles added up would be. That would be the sign of those two angles would be exactly that. Um, I don't know any of those angles, but I do know the ratios, their outputs, so I can figure it out. Now, I don't know how um, 
Alex is going to do this, but I can show you another way of doing it, but it's, I think it's a lot uglier. So the bow tie again will help us when we get to vectors. The bow tie helps us now. And my philosophy is it's so much easier to do something once and learn it really well than to do 20 different methods for a problem. But again, that's up to you to decide what your brain understands and how it makes sense to you. It's totally fine. All right. So a way some people do this is they do cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha equals one. And so they just sub that guy in. Um, let's see, but you're not going to sub it in there. All right, so I'll do this. I'll match it, but cosine squared alpha plus, and then that would go there equals one. Cosine squared alpha equals what, 9 25 That's the plus. Um, subtract my... Um, 9 25 so from both sides so that's going to be what 25 over 25 so I get 16 over 25 square root both sides cosine of alpha is now again yeah, plus or minus 4 fifths okay and so how do I know well you look where is alpha alpha is in quadrant what four, which is what a positive negative quadrant. So I must go with the positive answer. So cosine of alpha is a positive four minus. All right. Then you'd have to repeat the process for this guy. So cosine squared of beta plus sine squared of beta equals one. Um, let's see, cosine of beta is this guy. Plus sine squared of beta equals one. You get one ninth. And you subtract that over. And again, this is what, 9 over 9. So you get 8 ninths. Square root both sides. Plus or minus, you have to simplify that radical. So what is that? 2 radical 2. And the square root of 9 is 3. And again, you don't, this doesn't mean both answers. It means you have to decide which answer. So again, we're in quadrant 3, which is what, negative, negative. So you are like, okay, I am going to go with a negative. So cosine of, or no, nope, that wasn't cosine, sorry. Sine of beta is a positive two radical two, or no, nope, would we decide? Yeah, negative, sorry. Negative two radical two over three. So there's my negative. Um, so I have a negative and a positive. Then you still have to come down and do this thing. So you still have to sub in your sine and your cosine that were given to you. And then now you would sub in the cosine that you just figured out and the sine that you just figured out and still do the math. So it's up to you. To me, I think doing the bow tie is faster, but that's up to you to decide.